That was a URL. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cowbling, Better If I Too, and, uh... <laughs> and, uh... And the real La Mulana started yesterday. However, at the point I kind of freaked out, I was like, oh, what I do, what I do, what I do, but, but, but... The very first instruction here was very clear, and do not even attempt the puzzle until you actually beat the game. So, we'll be spending the next, I don't know, man, month or so, maybe more, maybe less. We're gonna spend the next moment of time just beating the game. However, we'll keep our eyeballs, you know, on possible clues. But we're not gonna freak out about things yet. But also, keep in mind, Orb does mean collectible, the big, massive... And I love the idea of a collectible that's like screen size or just something funny about it. But yeah, keep an eye out for those. They're better hidden than secret exit, but if you know they exist, then you know to try silly things. Infernal Refuge! Alright, that was a long intro. I apologize for that, maybe. I don't know. Welcome to the mud place. Uh, for this color palette tend to be refuge of sin. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, oh boy. All right. Well, immediately I have to ditch that. Is this not where the first Yoshi of the game is in this little box? Why do I remember that? Well, I'm wrong. So. <laughs> All right. All right. So the gimmick of this place is. <laughs> oh, it's a nice flower too is that you can't see much of anything. Someone who's taking my beloved high contrast art prediction, prediction preference, and making a mockery out and that's fine, honestly. Whoa, you cannot see my frosty balls here in this sin water. I still want, I want both. I want the fire or ice. I want a projectile and I want the ability to make jumps easier. Alright, Kefka's here, you know, granting us permission to listen to his theme, I guess. Whoa, I just... Hi, I just saw him up there. Uh, no, I killed the brain. Okay, that was a robot, turns out. Well, actually, I got hit multiple times. <laughs> like, let's be real here. Okay, I mean, it's good to be confident about your skills. Well, I'm not at the castle yet, alright? Hmm, and immediately you under- Whoa, that's a friction ball! I love how he instantly undermines himself. Hey, a gift! <laughs> 11037! 11037. I'm gonna type it right now, just in case. 11037. Did not do anything. So, Luigi and 1103. I'm sure someone's gonna write that somewhere that I can reference. That's right, I did that. 11037. There's an arrow here. Do you want me to jump in a pit? I mean, this could be just be a trap. This is a yellow level, after all. I think that's a trap! I think that's a trap. <laughs> but I'm curious. Uh, but it's a yellow level though. 11037. Yeah, someone, I'm sure someone, I'm sure three people will. We're not even going. <laughs> Alright, I'm replaying the level, I'm gonna jump in a pit. I'm probably just gonna die, but we'll see. Oh? Oh. How about you? Fantastic. Same thing? Same thing! Oh, no. Okay. So there is a specific pipe, it's just clear. Clearly indicated. If, oh, okay, and if I leave the room... So, you could almost say that the password was my... Hey, wait, there is something! was my, uh, gift for, uh, taking my time. <laughs> Door. Oh boy! Okay! 
Yeah? I can do that. It's me, I'm Toad. Oh boy, okay, so this is... It's that early level. Except there's an extreme amount of shadowing or light effect. This is so cool looking though. Uh, do I regret this? I don't know. Uh-huh. That's not a chest. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna get these money. I don't have a money system in this game. Oh man, this bot- okay, I mean, okay. I, I have to make peace with the fact that whether or not a level is any color of dots, that can mean anything because you're gonna have interesting things. No, I wanna keep my feather. That are not secret exits and that, like, I don't know where this is gonna lead. It's probably not gonna be an orb, but like, it's gonna be something. I just replayed, like, Mario 3 here. Oh, look at how fuzzy the edge of the shadow gets when it gets really far away. I think that's neat. Okay. I clearly haven't found what there is to find. However, let's take into the assumption that this is indeed Mario 3, then there might be a P-switch around. Oh, this is a cape? I don't know. Whoa! Okay, that was scary. Uh, I might want to fly? I might want to fly. Let's find a good flight spot. The good flight spot, oh cow, is in this scene here. Camera doesn't move up. I'm gonna try to go on top of that wall, maybe? I don't think I can. Okay. Cannot enter any of these. But this could be just because the warp is at a bad place. Hard to tell. So, is any of these surfaces something someone might confuse with a pipe? Hard to tell. This could be one. Ta -da -da -da. Yeah, that's all Toad said. I don't know why he said that. Theremy and theremy? In a theremin, I may consider jumping down. That's a pipe. And I've been here. And I got all the coins. Other pipes. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. That's a pipe. And we're back at the start. No. No, it was not. Oh ho ho! Okay, 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 we managed to find something. So this does go up, but you don't get an up if you fly. That's interesting. Is this all? That's all. This is so cool, the effects this is having. Alright, um, I'm gonna try and fly somewhere. Now that the camera has been forced upward... We can voyage through the sky and see that there's nothing at all. Oh, but I seem to have, like, fixed the camera. So maybe now I can fly in the early part. And the end part, rather, the opposite. Wait, I'm gonna land. I'm gonna keep flying. See if I can actually go on top of the shape. This time, no, I cannot. Oh darn! There's nothing up here. Pop. 
pause the game, but pausing the game, pressing start does that. <sighs> Kill everything? I'm giving a lot of fire. I think I killed everything. Alright, it's not a bad warp placement. Alright, so, to be blunt, I have absolutely ran out of idea of what to do. I don't know if this is because this is what there is here, or I've overlooked something. There is nothing in the pit. So I think I'm just gonna leave it to there. Like I said, this is a yellow level and there's no tags. So it's possible that exists to simply be. I've exhausted every idea I would have to do anything there, so, uh, I guess I'll move on to the next level. <laughs> the obligatory, <laughs> that's a name. Whoa, yeah, that one. Alright, so key here, I don't have, a oh, everything's getting, is everything getting blurry? I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things at this point. Alright, so it's the Mario, that's a... Uh... Castle spare key! Hell yeah! <laughs> so I can just go there now. Oh, and there's another key here. So I have two keys? Two key or not two key? Anyway, uh, here's here's the round guy. He does beep sound and I do a jump bad. Uh, together at last! Alright, so this is dark. Everyone's favorite. Here's some mushrooms. You can save it, probably. Alright, this clearly does something up there. What about in the down? The down also clearly has something going on, and down is where we will be using a key. I got a spare key, whatever that is. Ooh, by the way, good point noticing. Uh, yesterday, you know, I went into... I went back to the HUD, and in the stat screen, it mentioned trinkets too. And before I got there, uh, it said, apparently trinket zero. You see, when I when I went to the hub the first time, I figured Trinket was um, uh, the actual fam one is clearly marked. Was like the stars you got, but if it said zero back then and I somehow just misremembered, then yeah, that being the massive mirror shields would count as an indicator of how many I have. They are, merrily, massive giant trinkets that are the size of a house. As you do! So yeah, that, uh, that thing, that spare key thing bothers me a little bit because I got it, but I'm still using- Oh, that's a bomb. Oh wait, no, I don't think that's explosive. Like, isn't just me or there's like a weird, like, sort of like, raggedy texture to these walls, but it's all the- <laughs> ha! That pun is pretty good. He's throwing glitches! Okay. Yeah, I would do that too, probably. Oh, I'm not jumping. Whoa! It's raining. There we go. There we go. I'm dodging! So there's a key theme to this. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> With the phantos and whatnot. And, you know, the keys. Uh, mostly. Whoop. So I have a whole bunch of keys pulled out. Like, they, they stay pulled out, right? Because otherwise I have an issue, but I think that the keys I'm not throwing are uh, given a new lease on life by growing back. Yeah, I think. I, I'm not sure. Right? It's raining numbers! Jumbled up together. There we go. There's a little skull mark next to the health, so you know that it's the health of the skull. Exactly enough keys to bring back the light. We won! That's a door sound. 
Okay, that was- oh wait, this removed this wall, right? It did! There you go! What about that door? What about that door over there? You can tell I'm pressing its direction because it's making that sound effect. This is gonna lead to... Warp to the world with Strange Zone! I guess we haven't seen that map yet, which is fine. That castle. That castle is probably linked to this. Like I said, either I do not have the materials the, or the knowledge to do what I need to do, because I get there... I, the instructions make no sense, it just make me switch character. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know what to do about it. Alright! Okay! End of the video!